All right. So let's solve a problem which appeared uh, in Jamie in 2025 exam. And in this question, we have been asked to find the value of alpha given that this is the expression, right? So this is a binomial coefficient related question and these questions have been coming quite a lot in exam. So let's try to solve this so that we can get the concepts right. So let's look at this value as in what is given to us is that this is summation of uh, R square and then this is given as 30 CR n whole squared and upon this is 30 CR minus 30 CR R minus one. So let's try to solve this uh, without a summation first and then we'll try to look at whatever this expression. So let's try to solve without summation and then later on we'll be trying to substitute the summations as well. Uh, so first this expression. So this expression is R square and then this 30 CR could be written as factorial 30 upon factorial R into 30 minus R factorial. And then this is the same thing could be repeated here as well. 30 factorial upon factorial R into 30 minus R factorial because this was squared. And then in the denominator, we will have 30 factorial upon R minus one factorial and then into 30 minus R minus one, which will become 31 minus R factorial actually, right? So this is what it will become. Now, if I look at 30 factorial will get canceled if one of the R's and then if I write this R factorial as R into R minus one factorial, then I can cancel one of the R's from here and then R minus one factorial also from here. So R minus one factorial R and then one of the R's get canceled. Okay, now look at 30 minus R factorial and 31 minus R factorial. So again, I will write 31 minus R into 30 minus R factorial. So if I divide this, then what I get is basically 31 minus R over here. So we'll get that. So we'll just put this up here. So we get R into 31 minus R. And then there was one more R over here. So we can again write this as 30 factorial upon say R into R minus one factorial. And then there will be 30 minus R factorial, right? Now, again, one of the R's get canceled. Now we have been left with this expression. So let's try to figure out what is this expression is and then can we do anything with this one. So now this has become 30 factorial, but here it is R minus one factorial and this is 30 minus R. I somehow want to write this as NCR format. So for that, what I need to do is that if I can just write this as 31 minus R and then write this as 30 factorial as 30 into 29 factorial. Now, because of which, what will happen? Now, this is R minus one factorial and this will be 30 minus R factorial. Just like over here, what you would be saying, if I do 29 minus R minus one, which is basically 29 minus R minus one, what do I get is 30 minus R. So basically this expression has become 31 minus R into 30 and this expression has become 29 CR minus one. So this has become 29 CR minus one. And then we can now look at this and then try to solve, right? Now this, now let's try to put this in summation format and see. So what we have got is R equals to one to 30. And this was 30 into 31 minus R. And then into 29 CR minus one. No, one of the ones like 30 to 31 into 29 CR minus one. So we can just write this as R equals to one to 30. And this we can write as 30 into 31 into 29 CR minus one. This is one of the expressions and another expression again, minus actually. So minus of, I could write this as Sigma R into 29 CR minus one. Okay, um, so this is one way to do it. I could have done it much better job over here itself, but it's fine or rather let's do that. So what I want is see, this is another thing which we keep doing. So this 30 is anyways constant. So let's take this out. What we have left with is this R equals to one to 30 and this will be 31 minus R and this is 29 C R minus one, right? So when I'm going to split this, 
what I want here is R minus one somehow, so that one of the R minus one we will cancel out, and then this expression could could be written better. So what I want here is R minus one. So can I write this expression as thirty and R equals to one to thirty, and can I write this as say thirty minus R minus one? Okay. If I write this, this will become thirty minus thirty one minus R itself, and into twenty nine C R minus one. So you will see what will be the benefit of that is that one of the expression will be this 30 into now this is again a constant so I'll multiply so this will be 30 into 30 and this will be r equals to 1 to say 30 if you're looking at right so this is something we'll be trying to again do a better job of that so 29 c r minus 1 and then another one will be just minus 30 times sigma r minus 1 into 29c r minus 1 and this r equals to 1 to 30 okay so now what you can see over here is that this expression is simply 30 into 30 and this is you could think of this as this is starting from 29c 0 to basically 29c 29 which is nothing but 2 raised to the power 29 so this is 2 raised to the power 29 we are done here now, when we look at here, this is 30. Now, again, you see here r is 1. So, this expression is anyways becoming 0. So, we could start from r equals to 2 here. r equals to 2 to 30. And this will be, I could write it as now r minus 1 into, now 29c r minus 1. Again, let's look at this. This is where the uh, idea was. And that is why we wrote this as r minus 1 here. Okay. Now, this is 29 factorial upon r minus 1 factorial into this is 29 minus r minus 1 which will be 30 minus r factorial right now r minus 1 and one of the r minus 1 will get cancelled here so this will become 30 into 30 into 2 raised to the power 29 right minus 30 into sigma r equals to 2 to 30 and this will be r minus 1 into Let's write this as let's say 29 into 28 factorial here itself. We will make the change beforehand itself because I could see something happening here. And this is r minus 1 into r minus 2 factorial, and this will be 30 minus r factorial. Now, what is happening here? R minus 1 cancels out. Now, if I look at this expression again, 28, this is 28 C, this is 28 C r minus 2 actually this expression because if i subtract 28 minus r minus 2 what i get is 30 minus r so because of this what has happened this is 30 into 30 into 2 raised to the power 29 and this has become 30 into 29 and this has become sigma r equals to 2 to 30 and this has become 28 c r minus 2 which in fact is basically 2 raised to the power 28 here so you could get 30 into 30 into 29 right 2 raised to the power 29 minus 30 into 29 into 2 raised to the power 28. So this is 28C0 to 28C28. Now I can take 30 into 2 raised to the power 28 common. So this will become here. I will be left with 30 into 2, which is 60 and 60 minus 29, right? So which will be 31 itself. So this will give me 30 into 31 into 2 raised to the power 28. Now there is a 2 here which I can take here. So this will be 31 into 50 into 2 raised to the power 29. So this is what is my alpha, right? This will be, so which will be 465 into 2 raised to the power 29, right? So this is the alpha which we are looking for and this alpha is 465. All right, if you have got any questions about this or any other questions regarding binomial cooperation do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day